Good morning, friends, and welcome to this week's vlog. I'm at my daughter's house. She is away for the weekend. They are like snowboarding and skiing and stuff. Uh, she sent me the cutest picture of Ella in her new like snow gear. I'll, I'll put it up on the here. So I am here with Marshmallow, who looks just like a big old marshmallow. He's been peeing on everything, um, but I'm trying to see if he'll make a poopy. Come on, puppy. He didn't really eat much of his food. You gonna go poopo? -poo. It's cold out. It's like 37 degrees or something. It's chilly. Come on. I don't know what he smells over there. Let's do your deal. Let's get to going. So I am going to also try to get my car inspected today. That needs doing. And uh, so I got to try to get that done. Um, and I got to make sure he eats because Kenzie said he didn't really eat his food yesterday. And of course he was in his cage when I got here and his food's outside the cage. So I'm gonna give him fresh water and food and um, make sure he's good to go and then I'll let him out again before we leave. So he's a good little dog. I think his collar's a little too tight though. I gotta fix that too, because he was coughing. <laughs> so, all right, well, I will see you guys in a little bit. What do you Marshmallow? Here, what do you win? He's got his little lobster toy. <laughs> this dog is crazy. Come on, you go get it. Come on. Go get it. Oh, Ella's toys. Come on. He doesn't like to give it back to me. Give it back. No, give it back. <laughs> Ready? I'm trying to give him some exercise. Um, I think he has somebody coming this afternoon and this evening as well, so he should be fine, but I just want him to get a little exercise before he has to go back in his crate because he pees and poos all over the house like a bad dog. You like a bad dog. Yes, you do. Go get him. But he did sit for me and he gave me his paw when it was treat time, yeah. My rocks box came in. I think it's all earrings. I didn't get a chance to swap the pieces out at any time. I missed it. Let's take a looky. Kendra Scott. Hard to do this with one hand. Oh, these are pretty. Old. Let me do this better. Here we go. Okay, so we have the Kendra Scott. These ones retail for $65, and they are called the Facet Alex Drop Earrings in Gold and Emerald. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. I like all of them. Then we have these. These are called uh, by Perry Street, and they're called the Charlotte Drops. These retail for $68. Really beautiful. Would have been great for New Year's. Although I will wear sparkle any time of the year. And then we have these. These are by Ava Rose. These are the Seattle Hoops in gold and are $51. I think I'm going to wear those today. And so the way it works is the total for everything right here is $184. I am a silver, so I get $18.40 off. Buy all three discount $10.00. For a total of $44.40 off, 155 60 To me, that seems like $30 something off. I think they messed that up. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, I just wanted to show you all these beautiful rock bo rocks box. I think if you use my link to you get like your first box free. Um, you get the, because it's $21 to get a box. Um, you can get as many boxes as you want in that month when you turn them in. So you can get it, try them a day or two, turn it back, get another one. But if you keep anything, you get the $21 off and any other additional credits, plus the $10 off if you buy all of them. So what do you think? What are your favorites? And I'm going to try them all out. It's a rental service, so you can try them out as long as you want. Okay, good morning, guys. Um, so I just put the gold, the gold hoops on right here for today. I'm actually getting ready to head out to the grocery store. It is Sunday. My bra's showing. 
Um, and we're having a, um, a little, just a little gathering for Tyler for my son. It's his birthday today. So, um, happy birthday to my sweet boy. He's 27 today and he'll be here a little bit later with TJ and then Drew and Logan and Grayson will be here. Um, Kenzie's returning back from skiing, so she's not going to be here, but we're just going to have a small, just dinner with the kids. That's it. So nothing special. Um, and I got, a, but I do have a couple gifts for him. He didn't want any, but I got him anyway, cause he knows I don't listen. Um, I got to go get a card and I got to pick up some food for dinner. So I'm waiting on Robert. We're getting ready to go do that. And then I got a little bit of cleaning to do, not too much. And uh, yeah, then the kids should be here at about 2.30 or so today. This is um, a piece I kept. This is a Kate Spade piece. I don't know if I showed it to you guys. I might have showed it, but I don't know if I wore it. Um, I got it around New Year's time and I really liked it and I just kept it. So I decided to wear it today, even though it's a little extra. I don't care. <laughs> I was cleaning the screen and I guess I hit play. I am um, enjoying just a few minutes. Robert just went out to get hamburger buns. I've been cleaning all day. The house smells delicious. The um, food is in the oven um, and I'll show you. There's all the kids. <laughs> uh, they're gonna be uh, crazy in a minute because in like 30 minutes I think my kids are gonna be here. Um, and the, the, my grandkids are going to be here. Just, we're not doing anything big. Kenzie is, um, not coming back in town until about 4.30. She said she may stop by here, um, possibly with Ella. I don't know. Um, I think she just wants to see her brother for uh, his birthday. And then I made the cheesy potatoes. I need to check on them. So I'll take you with me for that. I didn't get cake. I got pies for the adults and the kids. I'll show you that too. Oh, that looks delish. I think we're getting ready to put, I got to put, um, I have to put more cheese and some crushed up, um, whatchamacallit on it, um, cheese and crushed up potato chips. And then, um, I've just, Tyler's 27, so I have to put that on one of these pies. Um, I got a southern pecan pie. These are just a Okay, I got cut off. Robert called me. But anyway, the southern pecan pie, and then that's just a coconut cream pie. So I'm going to, they need to defrost, but it'll be hours before we're eating these guys anyway. I'll just put them in the sun a little bit because they're frozen. Frozen, frozen they are. Okay, now I am going to try to sit down. I have not had a break. Robert has not been a good helper today. He's trying, but he like sat down for hours and it stresses me out because he'll get, he'll get it done before people get here, but he waits till the last second. So I've been moving all day doing stuff without any help. Men are so annoying with that. Like, just help me. Just like get up and stop being lazy and help me. I just got so aggravated with him. Anyway, he had to go get hamburger buns because we were, we have like four. Um, and um, he's heading back um and I just wanted to sit for like two minutes and just drink my tea and read my book for a couple minutes before anybody gets here and he's like can you go out and get the cooler and clean that up luckily the cooler's a solid block of ice and I can't even open it so the answer was no <laughs> anyway I'm going to sit down and I'm going to read my book I'm I'm like I've read that much of it already it's so so good like this is a good book I think I know who the killer is in here, but I'm, I don't know. I could be wrong. So I'll let you know at the end if I, if what I was thinking through this book is correct. Um, but I could be completely off on it. So we'll see. Sit your chat. You got nothing to hide. Yeah. Your future's so bright. So just smile like there's no one watching. Early morning on a Saturday. Wake up, it's time to get it started. No one's going to get in your way. No one's gonna leave you broken hearted You don't need nobody else Everyone knows you're doing well So well, yeah Not a worry in the world, you ain't scared of nothing You a boss kind of girl, you got all you wanted Earn yourself a quick break in the morning If someone tells you what the wise, give them warning Don't let yourself be restrained Own yourself and just walk away Away, yeah, yeah Look in your eyes And I know I found who I'm looking for It's the way that you smile That you give me smile Hey guys, so 
it is Monday, uh, about 4.20. I am heading over to visit the kennels to see where we're gonna put our dogs when we go to Cancun. Um, actually, she's only two miles from me, so it's super awesome how close, no male, how close she is, so that's really cool. So I've been working all day. Um, I just finished up and I'm heading out. I don't know if I took any video yesterday. I don't think I did. It was my son's birthday. He turned 27. Got some photos from the party. If you're on my Facebook, uh, you may have seen it, but um, yeah, so we had a really nice, a really nice time and it was great to see my kid and be able to spend some time with him. So, all right guys, I am heading over there. I need to use my ways to get there so don't get lost. I'll see you in a little bit. Good morning, friends. It is uh, Tuesday morning. I'm getting ready. I gotta get some work done. I gotta get Chopper to the vet. I wanted to show you my makeup today because I did probably the quickest and fastest makeup I've done and I'm happy, I'm really happy with it. I just have one shade, I don't know if you can see, one shade on the eye. I did take a little darker liner on the eye, which is just shadow, but what I put on my eye is from Beauty Pie and it's this like all in one stick for your eye. And I actually put it all over the eye and under the eye. And then I just took my finger while it was still like wet cause it dries down. And I just um, used my finger to smudge out the edges. Um, on my lips, I have the Kat Von D, I don't even know what color this is, um, lipstick. This is in the color, I'm getting so blind. Um, I can't even read that. I don't know. I'll, I'll write that down for you guys. And then, so I use this for my highlight and my blush. Let me sit you guys right here for a minute. I'll just show you. So I prop you. Okay, so this is one of the three-in-one tarts. So it's got a highlight, and that is called Frosted Frappe right there. Pretty. And then on my blush, I didn't use the third color, but I used this blush. This is called Sweet Cheeks, and it's a beautiful peach blush, and I really, really love it. So, so pretty. The combo's really gorgeous. Now, this last one is called Sugar and Spice, which I think is just another blush. It's like a darker blush shade, um, but I used a little bit of the Rimmel um, for the Rimmel Radiance Brick here which works fabulous for my contour. I've been using it every single day. Um, and that's really it, guys. Um, and then I just put mascara on. Uh, mascara, do I have that out, what I used? It was a, well, I don't know where I put that. Anyway, I used a mascara that kind of just fans out my lashes. My eyes are a little bit red, I'm not sure why. Um, but I just have my natural lashes on today. And it's such a beautiful look. Um, and for foundation, I used the Item Beauty concealer all over the face just and and just tapped it in with a sponge and then just a tiny tiny bit of this using these together i found i use a lot less product on my face and i'm getting a look that lasts all day and i really like so i'm happy with it i did have to add this little pin up here in my hair so when i got covid i got i, I couldn't eat meat i still struggle eating a whole lot of meat and um i I think I lost protein in my hair. Anyway, my hair started falling out. And my hairstylist said that was super common with his his clientele that had come in that didn't that had either had COVID or been vaccinated. They were all losing their hair. Um, but after about six months, it started to come in. Well, mine's been coming in, but now it's at this really weird length. So it's like from here to like here. You can kind of see how long it is um, because it's been coming in for a while, but it's because I have so much volume in my hair. I put oil on that sucker, like hair oil. It was still like, ding, like an antenna. I was able to get this one mostly down. There's still a little bit here sticking up, but I was able to get the front ones mostly down, but that side one was just like, no, I'm going to stick up and look like a, look like an antenna on the top of your head. So people know you're coming. I mean, it was like, mm, it was so bad. Robert was laughing at me. Um, anyway, I'm getting ready to just write in my journal for a minute and then I got to do a little bit of work and then I got to take my chopper boy to the vet. We, he's actually, um, one of the kids toys are out. He's actually got his harness on, don't you buddy? And Papa put his, uh, or Robert put his, um, his leash on it. He thought he got excited. He thought he was going somewhere, but he's not just yet. You good boy. You got to get your shots. 
So he goes today to get his shots for boarding because we're going to Cancun in February. And so all the dogs have to be up to speed on their Bortella, their distemper and rabies. I, I don't know. I think he has his rabies. I think he needs his Bordella and distemper, I think. Um, and then I went yesterday. I didn't take any video. I was talking, the lady, it's called Comfort of Home. Um, she is literally 2.2 miles from me and she has a kennel. She used to be a vet tech herself. So she knows how to care for animals. She also is like me, a rescue failure. She like adopts senior dogs that nobody wants with no teeth that you don't know how many days they have left to live just because she loves these animals and cares so much. She also has out back three, um, cat beds that are for some ferals out there um, that they control the mice population so the mice don't come in the house because she's all wooded and uh, she's got like heated houses and told me where to get those and we might invest in a couple of those for the feral cats out near the alley where Roberts used to live and um, we do have a heated water bowl out there for them now so that so their water is fresh running and it won't freeze um, so she was just a joy to talk to, just a super lovely lady. And she takes the dogs outside like six times a day. And then most of the time they're in this like big room where they can play. Now Dixie does not get along with other dogs. You can introduce her to other dogs, but she's quite vicious and might bite them to begin with. It's a process to allow her to get used to other dogs. She's just real weird with them, I don't know why. Although she gets along great with mine, except her and Nitro sometimes have a tussle, like like a brother sister type of a tussle, um, or a husband and wife type of tussle. One of the two. They have them. They just had one the other day. So, um, these three dogs will be let out together as a group. They won't be. I mean, I told her she could probably let Chopper out with the other dogs. He's good with other dogs. Um, and actually, I don't think Nitro's really bad with other dogs, but with Nitro if another dog comes at him like nitro's friendly with other dogs but if another dog's not nice or another dog's being a jerk nitro is a strong dog and he will quickly put that dog in its place and start a fight I, as old as he is he is a beast so he's one of those dogs that like you don't piss off Be, not i mean he would never do anything to us ever i mean he's just a big baby but with another dog we had i know tyler um a while back had him and another dog like snapped at him or tried to bite him and nitro was like vicious so so anyway so she's just gonna let our dogs out um that week she's fairly open she doesn't have a lot of at this point doesn't have a lot of dogs so they rotate the dogs coming out into the play area and i did warn her that dixie is a toy hog and she will get aggressive over toys although she had so many toys i don't think dixie's going to be able to steal every single toy from every single dog because she just had so many for them to play with um so they have this like main area they they're inside so they're not out in the cold the kennels are are very large she's going to put dixie and nitro together since they sleep together every night and chopper will be in his own separate wood and i'm going to bring his dog bed so he has a comfort of home but she has all kinds of blankets and pillows and little cots for the dogs and things too um, and all of it's indoor and heated and then they have huge runs out back where the dogs can just run outside and play um i told her dixie and chopper would love to go out and play nitro is just going to do his business outside and he's he's going to want to come back in he is 100% wants to be indoors. If it's chilly at all, he don't want to be out there. If it's warm out, nice spring-like weather, he'll stay out for a little bit and he'll actually lay down in the sun and in the grass. But if it's chilly at all, because he just doesn't have a lot of fur, um, it's real thin, his fur, then he, he wants to come in the house. So anywho, so I have uh, my some Park Lane earrings on today. I love these. And then I have this chocolate heart necklace i don't know if this is still available i got this on jtv i believe i love this necklace i think i showed this to you maybe a year ago um if that is still available then i'll link it these were in one of the sparkle boxes early on so these were limited edition you you can't i i think I don't think you can get these anymore. I'll look and see, um, but those are from Park Lane. So I'll link Sparkle Box, Park Lane, Scentsy, all of that down below. I do have a new Scentsy warmer coming um, over in the corner. You can see I cleaned up over here. Hold on, let me clean my screen. There we go. So we had our tree over here. Um, I just have, you know, the lamp and I put some little spring flowers out. We have some um, blankets and pillows extras here. And this is all makeup, guys. Um, this top needs to be cleaned off. I have a cactus up here. I can put this up front. I don't know why there's eggplant seeds that needs to go away. But I have a little, my um, crystal, which is really um, citrine, which is really good for focus when you're working. And I love it. 
Um, and then I have this one up here, which is great for spring too. And I have a new pineapple rose scent in here. I just have coffee and whiskey up on this one, a sage down there, a couple other candles and stuff. So anyway, it, it's not super great right now, but it is picked up and cleaned way look looking way nicer than it did we have the pups making a mess with some toys the uh, uh <laughs> that is not on properly but whatever and then um over here i put up a few little um for valentine's day a few little ornaments that are little heart ornaments that we have um i still have some cleaning to do down here and organizing i've got a couple gifts of, for my mom and dad i gotta send down to them but they're heavy so i may just bring them when i see them <sighs> robert i don't even know what that is there's always a tool somewhere robert robert but i can't say anything because that's all me right there <laughs> anyway and that pillow has to go i washed my mexican santa pillow because he's not white, he's not black. We think he's Mexican. <laughs> so that has to go back up in the attic. We um, He washed really great in the washing machine. I was super, super happy. Um, and I think he's so cute. So not being racist when I say Max and Santa, but I think that's just what we call it. So um, anyway, all right, guys. So I am going to get a little bit of work done here, make a few phone calls, hopefully get a couple new jobs going and lined up um, after I write my journal. And then I got to take the dog to the vet we'll see you soon somebody's feeling a little anxious he um actually just saw a german shepherd that was a working dog that the lady had to muzzle and uh he went flipped out so i wasn't going to put him in there with that dog um they actually said all he needs he's up to speed on everything except his bordella so he just they're going to come to the car give him the shot in the car and then uh, i'll go in and pay or they'll take my card and come back whatever i don't know and it'll be done so but he is uh he is very anxious. He wants to get out. Oh, his little heart is racing. Hey, he's shaking. It's all right. It's all right, dude. He is scared. He keeps giving me his paw because he wants uh, He actually wants to lay on top of me right now, but I won't let him because cause no. Here, you want to give me your paw? Okay, all right. Want to hold my paw? This is what he does when we go into the vet. He will put his paw on my leg or in my hand. And he just wants me to hold his, like, hold his hand the whole time we're in there because he's a big baby. All right. No, no. <laughs> I don't want that much up close and personal, dude. All right, guys. My work day is almost over. Um, I wanted to get your opinions and thoughts on something because I need a design help. So I ordered a couple of things for my upstairs guest bedroom. Drew is going to be getting his stuff out of there soon. And then I'm going to be redoing that guest room so that um, it's ready to receive guests and it looks good. Now the room is painted um, gray. It's got gray walls and it's got one wall that is just a blackboard um, chalk, blackboard chalk wall where you can write on it with chalk. Kenzie did that. So I need new curtains and that's what I need your help with. So what I'm doing is, so I got a bedspread that's in that black and white check coming from Target. I'll put a picture of it right up here on the screen. I also got a lamp that came in. Um, I'll put a picture of it on the screen cause it's here, but it's all wrapped up. And um, so, and it's just got the white top and then I think it's gray or charcoal or black base. And, um, and then for just a fun pop of color, I have a hot pink oversized pillow. Again, here's a picture of it that's going to be on the bed because I want to add a little bit of color in there. I, I just don't, the, the, the room is fairly, like it's only been painted like four years ago. So I really, four or five years ago. So I really don't want to repaint the whole room. Um, so I'm just going to go with the gray and black theme. And then I figured I can interchange the pillows and some of the decor as needed seasonally. Or, you know, if I want it to look more of a boy's room, I could put a pop of like green or mint green or something in there. But if I want it to look more girly, I can put the hot pink and some flowers, you know, so, um, but I just want it to look nice, but I need new curtains. So my question to you is with the things that I've shown you, um, should I just go with white curtains? Should I go with black curtains? Should I go with a different color? I I'm, I'm nervous about doing like a pink curtain because that kind of curtains are more something I'm not going to change often. So I'm just curious what you think color wise I should do with the curtains, what color I should go. Um, if you've got some ideas, let me know in the comments below. I also um, have that a table that used to be in the corner. It's like an old antique table that Robert refinished and gave to me as a gift. Um, I'm going to put that by after, after, and it's wooden, um, but after 
Drew gets his stuff out of there. I'm gonna put by the window and I'm gonna do some seed starting up there because that window, it does get some sunlight there. And so I'm gonna um, start some seed trays up there with my, I've got some lights and stuff and just get some seeds going and stuff. Um, I also have stuff coming and I've saved, I've got two bottles right now to just, we're gonna do some winter sewing. So I know we did that last year. I have done okay with winter sowing. My problem with winter sowing is I do it. I have good germination. The plants come up and then I leave and then I open them and then I forget to get them planted and then they burn because they're so little and the, it gets so hot so quick in Virginia that little bit of, of uh, dirt that's in there will dry out pretty quickly. Um, so I need to make sure whatever amount of winter sowing I'm doing that I immediately am able to transplant those plants. And if you don't know what winter sowing is, take a look on, on YouTube. There's tons of them. It is so fun to watch. Do, um, if you're looking at how to do winter sowing, it's really easy. So there's videos on that and I'm going to show you a video on that. But if you're looking at, if you want to see like what the results of winter sowing are, do a search on winter sowing results or winter sowing reveal and you'll see all of the plants that came up in these like milk jugs and stuff and basically you just plant the seeds and in these jugs and then you you know take the tops off so natural rain and snow can get in there and then that's it now if you're in a real dry climate you're going to have to put some water in them from time to time but i don't have to because we get so much rain here in the winter and the spring so um, my soil is usually I have a problem making sure that it stays where it doesn't get like all algae, but you're going to get some algae in there. I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon this year on top, which helps keep algae down. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do poppies this year. I'm going to do two way. I ordered some new poppies. Um, I loved my poppies that I did last year, but I did them too late. I did some that I just directly sowed in the ground and just sprinkled seeds because you, you know, if you have a month of cold temperatures, that's all they need. And you can just lay them and they need sun to germinate. So you just throw them on the ground and they'll grow. Um, as long as you're getting moisture. And then I'm going to do some in the winter jugs. And I just want to see like which ones come up first like which ones do better which ones are further ahead in growing would it be the direct sown ones and like that I do this now or would it be the winter the the jugs that I'm going to put them in so which kind of form like a little greenhouse so it'll be interesting to see how they do and I think I'm going to do like some straw flowers and bachelor buttons um and things like that as well so I will take you along for that journey um so anyway I just wanted to share that with you guys I need your help with the curtains let me know what you think um once I get that room looking all great. I will show it to you when it's all finished. Um, I am in a mood recently to just sort of redecorate. I also want to paint this whole room in here one color. I may put this back wall. What I really would like to do with this back wall is make a shiplap wall, like a with a white, even if it's just wood that, even if Robert just puts planks of wood up there and I paint it with like distress, if I do like a distressed white and brown like distressed painting on the wood I want to do that and then the rest of the walls I want a certain color what color do you think I mean you can see okay it right now I've got like the cream color on one wall and then I've got this like light blue on the other wall um what color do you think would look good in this room I don't know if I should go with like tones of like gray and gray and white in here make it lighten it up a bit um I like it light and bright I don't want anything dark so I'm very curious to know what you guys would put in this room too, but um, I do not like this beigey color back here. I'm okay doing a neutral color. This is what the house came in. The whole house was this color. Um, I'm okay doing a neutral color, but I would want like a more of a taupey color if I was doing it or a different, I just don't like this color. It's kind of Blah. You know, it's almost more yellowy and I don't like the more yellowy parts of it. So um, anyway, I would love some input from my friends. Thank you guys. Well, good morning, guys. It is about 7.30 in the morning on Thursday. Um, I just got to work. You can see it's still <clears throat> dark out. I don't start till 8.15. I got here early. Um, I have been up all night. So I got up at 1 o'clock and I couldn't go back to sleep. And then I woke up at 4 because I heard this big boom downstairs and I knew one of the cats knocked something down and I didn't know what it was, but it woke me up. Anyway, I found out what it was. I went downstairs this morning and Gizzy had knocked the pineapple off of the counter. That thing is heavy. I, that cat, I tell you, I know she's handicapped, but she is strong and she gets pure enjoyment, enjoyment of knocking shit over. She knocks um, ceramic pots over. She knocks plates and cups and now pineapples, pots and pans, anything she can push, she's going to knock over. And then she just sits there like, look, <laughs> looking at it. Anyway, so
So I went and picked up some egg bites. I ate one and I can't eat anymore right now. So I'm gonna save the other one and I got a coffee. I am really tired. So um, that happened at four and then I was just kind of tossing and turning until five. Then my alarm went off at 5.30 and I just, I, I just been up all night. So it's gonna be a tough day. So I'm getting ready to take my ADHD medicine, my blood pressure medicine, and um, I'm still having some issues with the, the tissues around my heart. So I'm gonna take my medicine for that. He gave me a big bottle of that stuff. And he didn't really tell me how long to take it. It's like a high level aspirin. I don't know. It's like, it just takes inflammation down. And I don't like taking it because they're huge pills and I suck at taking huge pills. So anyway, I can't even show you how pretty my eyes look. It's, it's a green and burgundy, but I can't even show you because it's so dark you can't see. But I wore, this is just my overcoat thing. Um, I have a cute little like um, shirt on and little dress pants. I'll, I don't know if I'll be able to show you my outfit and a, a green cardigan, like an olive green. And that's what's on my eyes, like an olive green. So um, anyway, I'll probably get this video uploaded. Oh, I got my little... Uh, ring on and then these earrings are the ones that um are from my Kendra Scott I figured I'd try them out today those I think you can see right here you can see they're green because there's a street lamp right next to me so all right friends so I'll see you guys in a little bit but I gotta get to work good morning friends it is about I think 8 or 8 30 on Saturday morning um, I have not gotten ready I'm still in PJs and stuff but um, I am getting ready to cut some boxes up I've got a chewy box down here um, because I'm gonna expand my flower bed my no dig bed it's just too um, it's not wide enough so I'm gonna expand that this year my plan is to lay down all the cardboard I only have two boxes right now so I have to get enough boxes first I should have I wasn't thinking like at Christmas when there was a like a multitude of boxes but anyway um i'm gonna lay that down then i'm gonna put a bunch of leaves over it and then a bunch of uh wood chips over it or maybe i'll do wood chips then leaves and then i'm gonna put um like compost or topsoil on top of it um and i'll just plant shallow rooted plants this spring because you need about six months for it to fully make a bed but i can plant on the top of it um, so I'm going to do that. So anyway, I need to get doing that. I just did the dishes. I just wiped the counters up. I cleaned my little area, my little coffee area. I set up a little tea area. Um, my, my daughter got me like a container to put all the tea bags in. So I did that and I'm going to cut this up and then I've got a lot to do today, but we'll start a new vlog for all of that. I'm going to end this vlog. I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful week and I will see you guys in the next vlog.